guys good morning today it's my interview day and i'm really nervous and at the same time i'm really excited and time check it's 6 53 and my interview is 7 15 so and i will update you what happened to my interview so guys see you later so i'm here at the location site so this is the building Hey guys, I'm back and before I'm going to share my experience with you today, um, I will just do a quick iced coffee because my blood needs coffee and I can't live without coffee. So, um, guys. So I'm using a chocolate syrup, add ice, then I'm going to add milk. You can use whole milk or any milk of your choice. So for my coffee guys, I'm going to use this Javi coffee concentrate, so it's a micro dose. All I have to do is to just drop a two teaspoons, so that's it, it's pretty easy. There you have it guys, it's very quick and easy, and let's proceed to the video. Today, I'm going to share with you my experience of my N400 naturalization interview. And yes, I passed the civic test and now I'm a US citizen. Um, I just want to say thank you to the YouTube videos that I'm practicing my civics test and I will link them in the description um, if you're interested and they are very helpful guys because that's the only video I was watching the whole or the entire month um, I was watching twice a day and yeah it's very helpful so I will link them in the description box so guys, my interview time is 7.15, so around 7, they let us in inside the building of USCIS. Then the security asked for my ID and the interview letter, so I showed them my driver's license. You will proceed to the metal detector machine and all your things will be checked in. After that, you will proceed to the reception and they will instruct you to go in a waiting area to wait for your number and name to be called. So I check in around 7.06 a.m. and the officer called me around 7.45 a.m. and she introduced herself and the officer assisted me to her office and she asked for my green card and passport. So if you have an expired passport, you have to bring it in your interview. And she asked for my complete name and date of birth. She asked me a question right away, what is the meaning of truth? Then I explained what is the meaning of the truth. And after that, she told me to stand up and raise my right hand to swear in the testimony. Then we started with the reading test. So the sentence was, um, who is George Washington? Then she told me to proceed to the writing test and I have to write the sentence um, in a tablet in front of me. So she said, write the sentence, um, George Washington is the first president. And then she said, you're doing great. And we proceed to the civics test. And she explained um, that I have to answer six questions out of 10. And then she also said, if I want to repeat the question, she will be happy to do it. So here are the questions she asked. So guys, the first question is, what is freedom of religion? The second question, the House of Representatives, how many voting members? The third question, how many U.S. Senators are there? The fourth question, name one right only for United States citizen. Then for the fifth question, uh, what do we show loyalty when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Then the last question is, what is the name of the President of the United States now? I got all the six questions correct and she said congratulations. Then after that, she said she will ask questions on my application from my N-400 form. So some of the questions guys like, um, what, what is the name of your husband? Um, is he a US citizen? She asked for the birth certificate of my husband. She also asked um, about my traveling outside of United States and how long did I stay in what country that I visit and how long did I stay in Arizona or how long um, I live in Arizona. And some of the questions are tricky. She will just repeat the questions again and if you will answer it correct. And the last part, she asked me um, the part 12 questions. So everything you answered there, you have to know about it. If you filled that form, she asked that if you filled the form 
for yourself. She also asked how many marriages or is this your first marriage? Something like that, including my husband. And yeah, I didn't expect that she will going to ask more on my N-400 form. So my advice is please review your application before going to the interview. And she also asked a lot of vocabularies from my application. Like for example, um, the word weapon. So you have to explain what is weapon. You have to explain the um, oath of allegiance, something like that. You have to explain... Um, about the truth something like that so you have to know about those kind of words she told me to double check the information like name birthday and the correction i made like for example the name of my daughter i filled out a missing letter in the application so she corrected that and i signed it and lastly she said read it for myself and that's the oath taking and she told me to sign it and she handed me a paper congratulations and she told me to wait at the waiting area for the oath taking ceremony so i'm going to show you guys what she handed me so this is the letter she handed um you passed the english test and the u.s history and government tests and congratulations your application has been recommended for approval she highlighted her name um the date today so yeah so she gave this to me and i told her thank you so much first i remember i'm done with my interview around 8 30 a.m then i went to the waiting area after 10 minutes so the officer called our names for the oath taking ceremony so we went to the oath taking room and then after that we sat there and then he handed us a form to fill it out so he said just check all the boxes with um no and add your states and address and sign it and he also handed us this pocket so this is the pocket he handed us so i'm going to show with you guys what's inside the packet so guys inside the packet is including this small flag then here are some of the instructions so one is this um, arizona voter registration form the application for a u.s passport next is this application for a social security card the next one is um some of the checklists for um the election and this one it's the u.s passport office they give you some instructions here and online resources and this one the important information for new citizens um it says here congratulations on becoming a u.s citizen and i also have here this small booklet it is the declaration of independence and the constitution of the united states everything is here so i'm really super excited guys and lastly is the oath of allegiance so here you go guys then after that we pledge our oath of allegiance then um and the lady said um, we have to answer i do after that she said congratulations um the officer called our names again and he gave us the certificate and we surrendered our green card um before exiting the room and that's it guys thank you so much to all the people who helped me um reach this uh, milestone and um i hope you guys um enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and thank you so much for watching see you again next time bye